Hey everyone, this is Owen with Motion Array, and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make animated sun rays in After Effects. Alright, let's get started. I'll begin in this composition over here where I have the sun drawn in the background, but no rays. With no layer selected, I'll grab my pen tool and I'll draw a horizontal line that'll act as my sun ray. I'm going to go to the view menu and go to show grid and just make sure that this is centered up and perfectly horizontal. That looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and turn off my grid and I'll start adjusting this ray to fit the style of the sun. So I'll change the color to just a darker version of what we already have, maybe a little bit more red. And I'll twirl it down and go to the contents. I'll go ahead and delete that fill and I'll make it round caps and I'll make it 15 pixels wide. I'll also go ahead and rename this to be Sunray 1. Then I'll go down into my stroke options to dashes and I'll hit the plus button twice. Once to add a dash and once to add a gap. For the dash value I'll set that to 100 and for the gap I'll set that to 50. Then I'll option click on the stopwatch for offset and type in time times negative 150. That expression will constantly have the offset cycling so that our rays are animating. I'll collapse the stroke settings and then I'll go to the add menu and add a repeater. In my repeater settings, I'll switch the copies to six and I'll go into the transform properties and turn the position to zero there in X and rotation to 60. So now we're starting to get the look we're going for. I'll collapse this layer down and I'll drag it behind the sun. Then I'll duplicate it. In the Sunray 2 settings, I'll go ahead and change the stroke to 10. And I'll change the color to be a little bit lighter. In the path itself, what I'm going to do is I'll shorten it just a little bit. So maybe it's like two thirds of what it was before. Then I'll go into my stroke settings and in the dashes, I'll hit the plus button two more times. I'll switch my dash to 70 and my gap is good at 50 and my second dash to 30 and my second gap to 50. Then for my expression in the offset, I'm going to change that value from 150 to 250. So it cycles through a little bit faster. Then what I'll do is I'll pull up the rotation for the whole layer of Sunray 2 and I'll change that value to 30 degrees. So if I look at my animation now, I've got all my sun rays emanating out just the way we want it to be. Now we just need to make the whole thing rotate. To do that, I'll grab both the sun ray layers and I'll parent them to the sun itself. Then I'll pull up the rotation of the sun and I'll option click on the stopwatch and type in time times 10. That'll make sure that the sun rotates 10 degrees every second. And there you have it, there's our animating sun rays. Well, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you did and you'd like to see more tutorials, please go ahead and subscribe because we're making new ones all the time. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.